All right, what is up, guys? Another video for you on some tactical gear. Uh, this one's going to be on my range bag. Uh, this carries all the firearm related gear that I'm going to need for a day at the range. <coughs> However, I always uh, pair it with the Maxpedition EDC pocket organizer. I've done a separate review on this, so you can go ahead and check that out. But a lot of uh, capabilities there. This goes in any bag I'm carrying every day. This goes everywhere I go. And I also carry, uh, with this range bag, a Maxpedition Sitka gear slinger bag. Uh, the Sitka has more general use gear. Uh, not so much firearm related because I take that everywhere, but it does have you know a lot of tools, uh, a lot of first aid capability, and other things as well. Uh, but this is going to be uh, what covers all the firearm bases. So this is a bag from LA Police Gear. Uh, really impressed with the quality for the price. It's like twenty dollars on their site. Um, I mean, I got this free with an order from them, and uh, they use you know really really durable nylon. Um, you know some some quality zippers, good pulls, you know, just everything seems to be really well constructed and it has lasted me a long time. I haven't had a single problem or complaint with it and I'm just amazed that for 20 bucks they give you something like this. I mean, it's just a great buy. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and break into the bag and I'll go over the compartments as we go. Uh, we got some pen sleeves here on the left side and a, you know, a little tool sleeve here. Got a screwdriver with a screw off top that has six bits that you can change out as well as one included uh, on the front got some sharpie fine point uh, pen a little larger uh, marker the red one and then a pen for you know keeping scores and you know marking things on the range uh, it's got a velcro hooking loop here uh, as well as a compartment here which I right now have a notebook, a pen, which I'll go ahead and just take it all out. A moleskin notebook, Sharpie pen. i uh, got some headphones. Uh, sometimes I even use this as hearing protection. I like to listen to music while I compete sometimes, so I'll be doing that or practicing. i uh, got some snacks, Cliff Bar, good stuff. Love it. Um, also have a couple standard band-aids. I uh, got some other first aid capabilities as well, but this is just quick access, you know, for small cuts and things. Have a Maxpedition pocket reference guide. A uh, lot of technical information in this. Very cool. I think that's it for that pocket there. Uh, right below it, we've got <coughs> some fire capability. Just like to have this wherever I go. Some magnesium, a lighter, and a Ziploc bag. A wooden dowel that fits uh, in my 9mm Glock, and this is for pushing out debris in the barrel uh, and squib loads when you get a bullet that does not leave the barrel, and that's caused from uh, not having a powder charge in your casing. Uh, I reload all my own ammo, and it pretty much never happens. But uh, when it does, I'm able to go ahead and bang out that uh, bullet inside the barrel. Also have some waterproof matches with a waterproof container. And a handful of zip ties. There's some more in there as well. Okay. Um, on the outside, you got a you know drink holder here and there. I use them for different things. Uh, i got my shooting glasses that I will typically go ahead and just tuck right down inside there. Uh, this is an Eagle Creek hard case. And the shooting glasses that I use are the Oakley uh, M-Frame Strikes. Really, really nice glasses uh, for what I need them to do. And that's just a large field of view. No frame down here, so I can get, like I said, that maximum field of view. And they wrap around uh, quite nicely for protection from uh, shrapnel and things like that. Uh, ricochets, etc. Over on this side, I have my uh, electronic hearing protection. These are the uh, Pro Ears, the Predator Golds. Um, they will 
uh, decrease the sound level over a certain decibel, like for gunshots and other loud noises, but will amplify all other sounds. So I usually use this in conjunction with um, just standard earplugs. I really like the ones that have the little lanyard on them. I'll show you those in a second. So always keep these with me. And that's it for that side. Let's go ahead and flip it around. <laughs> a couple different pouches on this side of the pack. In this left one here, I have some weapons cleaning gear. Just a little homemade kit with some, uh, you know, M Pro 7, a couple brushes, um, and, you know, chamber and bore cleaners, some patches, Q tips. My favorite cleaning tool of all is the bore snake. Really fast, really efficient. Um, I use this after every uh, string that I shoot in competitions. You know, it takes about 30 seconds to disassemble your gun and run this through there, and it gets all that nasty debris out of there really quickly. Got a couple of those. And that's it for that pouch. This top one here, which has two small compartments. Uh, got two small Bic lighters. As well as the hearing protection. Uh, these are just some Winchester uh, standard earplugs. So they have the lanyard. I like the orange on them though, so everyone else knows that you are ready to rock and roll and you got your hearing protection in. Again, I usually use these in conjunction with the Pro Ears Predator Golds. And that's it for that little area. The one just below it, I uh, just have a locking carabiner and some uh, Brian Enos Slide Glide. This is definitely my favorite lube uh, for firearms and such. Side over here, got some bug spray. Absolute must. You guys have seen this in my other videos. I cannot leave home without this. You'll get eaten alive where I'm at. As well as a small can of WD-40. Got to take this every time I go to the range, camping, etc. Put it on blades, guns, all that stuff. All right, that's it for the external pockets. Um, there is one more out here. This is actually kind of like a hidden CCW sleeve, and this is where I keep my firearm. Just kind of slips open, and there's a Velcro hook and loop uh, section there. And I have a Glock 17. Uh, inside of a Black Hawk Universal holster. I just use this for carrying, you know, uh, transporting it in bags. I also have some pistol uh, cases, you know, the full rectangular variety, but I like this because it's low profile. I can fit it in a lot more uh, tight spaces. This is the Glock 17 Gen 4. Um, it's a 9mm, full size, carries 17 plus 1 rounds. Uh, currently has a stock trigger on it. Uh, I have another with a uh, Rocket 3.5 trigger, and I really like that, but uh, I'm thinking about just leaving this one completely stock. Um, this is definitely my favorite handgun right now. This is the one I compete with and uh, trust my life on, so I'll do a separate review on this for sure. Uh, definitely my favorite firearm out there right now, as far as handguns go. Into the main compartment. I've got my uh, range officer badge in my Maxpedition Traveler Carrier, um, you know, with the neck um, lanyard, and it also has a waist strap as well, but I went ahead and pulled that off, because um, I usually put this on my belt so it stays out of the way when I'm trying to draw my firearm, etc. Also have my camera case. This is a Mountain Smith Vibe 2. And I use a GoPro uh, by Contour, the GPS model. Uh, this is a hands-free kit with a headband. I use this for shooting comps and hiking and things like that. Petzl Tactica Plus headlamp. So really nice, uh, really nice little pack here. Cordura construction. Uh, YKK zipper is really comfortable to wear. Um, just notice the time. I'm not going to be able to finish my bag here. I'll probably pick this up in a part two. So stay tuned. Bam. 